Hi, Rach. My name is Ilsa, and I live in a 280 square foot apartment in the West Village of Manhattan, and my monthly housing cost is $1,400. I live on the fifth floor, and we don't have an elevator. Right when you walk into my space, you walk into my kitchen. My under-the-counter fridge, which opens like this, is an extremely handy way for me to have a small fridge without it taking up a ton of space in my apartment. Moving to this side of my kitchen, you'll see these window whiteboards. They're really aesthetically fun you know, to look at, but also when I work from home, it's a great place to get my thoughts down. And on this one, I actually track my exercise and workout routine to make sure I stay on track. I wanted to build something in order to house more of my plants, um, and that's why I ended up building this ladder myself. This is both my living room and my bedroom. You will first see my Murphy bed. When I moved in, I decided I didn't want to just have a full-size bed in my space all the time, and so I actually designed this one and included a lot of storage because that's really what I was lacking here. So in addition to having a full-size bed, I have space for a TV, a few open shelves, as well as storage here and all the way across. Since I don't have a ton of space, hanging plants from the ceiling is a really good solution in order to still bring them in. Right behind there, you'll see these wooden triangles that I actually hand stained uh, myself to, in order to bring a little bit te of texture onto the wall um, and make my space a little bit more playful. Hey Rach, I'm Amanda. And I'm Corey. We live in a three bedroom, 1100 square foot home right outside of Austin, Texas, and we pay $1,400 a month. When we walked into the house, this kitchen was just builder basic. It had oak cabinets and a basic backsplash. We changed the backsplash out, gave color to the cabinets, and now it feels like it's ours. In our old home, we had a large dining room. When we moved into this house, we had a much smaller dining space. We added some wainscoting and some wallpaper to the walls to spruce it up a little. We built a DIY built-in banquette, so now we can seat up to eight people. The rooms in our house are kind of small. And when it came time to design our son's room, we knew the storage was going to be the main concern. So we designed this built-in bed, which incorporates pre-built bookcases on either side and some under-bed storage to maximize his needs. When we were designing our son's nursery, we wanted to add some visual interest to the walls without spending up a lot of money or taking up a lot of room. We added this board and batten to the wall just by adding some simple boards to the wall and painting the whole thing one color. It was super affordable and it looks beautiful. When we moved into this home, this corner of the living room was awkward, empty, and boring. We designed and installed these open floating shelves, and now the space is beautiful and intentional. The fireplace was basic. It had beige tile, beige walls, and a basic mantle. We decided to step it up a notch by retiling with this beautiful marble mosaic, putting chip lap on the walls, painting it black so that it blends the TV in so you don't even know it's there, and now it is the statement focal piece of the room. Hi Rach, I'm Jeanette and I'm a viewer in Northern Cincinnati. I just moved my family from Cleveland and we found this three bedroom, three and a half bath, around 3,400 square foot house and the mortgage payment is around 1,500 per month. For only $40, I was able to recreate a huge piece of art that I had seen in an expensive store. All I did was find the free image and downloaded it on my computer. I was able to tile print, which means you can take a large print and print it out on multiple sheets of paper. I was able to reassemble it onto these MDF boards. I laid the pieces of paper out, Mod Podge them, and then I had instant huge art to go over top of our entertainment set. I use these frames season after season. I simply change the art by looking for free printables that are in season. I print these off on my printer at home and this was only $56. I found these little baskets online for about 25 bucks a piece and I bought these silver dollar eucalyptus so I just pop my mail in here and I hide it by putting the eucalyptus on top so it looks much nicer when company comes over and you'd never know they're filled with mail. For only $95, I completely transformed my kitchen just with paint. I use these artist brushes. These brushes hide brush strokes and they're awesome.